as many of you know, my wife and I are having our third child, and he's junior. So recently, an American friend asked me what the child's full name was. So I sent the text, and then he asked, what does the middle name mean? Our middle name is Ifai Chuku. So I thought about it, and I gave him the definition, but I thought about how my 86-year-old grandma would respond to that. My grandmother is a pillar of our family. She's a writer and a poet, and like many Nigerian women, she has a flair for the dramatic. So this is how grandma would give that definition. Ah, uh -uh. so you ask me, if I chuku, what does this name mean? Let me tell you from the Bible. Eh, do you know, as, as, as God spoke to Moses, uh -uh, and the Red Sea, you know what happened in the Red Sea, and the Red Sea was parted. Was this too hard for God? No, this is not. Eh, 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 I don't even have to go to Moses. Let me, let me take you to Ezekiel. And do you know the valley of the dry bones? All these bones are dry. Aha, aha. And the, and the man of God speaks. And the man of God speaks. And now you have the army. And this is God. And you ask me if I eat chuku. Is there anything too hard for God? Do you know my father? My father in heaven. Ah, uh -uh. you know Lazarus. Four days he's in the tomb. Four days this man is in the tomb. And God raised him from the dead. This is a God that we serve. Aha. Uh -huh. And you say, is there anything too hard for God? This is the name Ifai Chuku. There is nothing impossible for God. Uh -uh. Next time you ask me this question, let's speak Igbo. I will tell you in that form. I will tell you in my tongue. Thank you. Ifai Chuku, there is nothing too hard for God.